Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to jump right into the messages for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Taurus. And as always, keep in mind these are general messages. So take what resonates for you, leave the rest. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can book that through my website. Be the change 333.com. All my information is in the description box below the video. All right, Taurus, let's get into your message, please. Message for Taurus, please. A lot of synchronicities lately. I've been seeing a lot of sevens lately, the last couple of weeks, last month. Courage. Bling. been challenged lately <laughs> I laugh because yes we're all getting these challenges um, but really they're they're experiences that are meant to kind of finalize the closure of our past our past beliefs our past versions of who we were so overall we do have perseverance and I see that feel that very clearly for you I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So Taurus, you're not one to give up or give up easily. That's for sure. Unless it is the divine asking you to surrender. Sometimes Taurus the bull can be a little stubborn and it's like, I'm not giving up. <laughs> Those are the times when you actually are supposed to like just surrender. But anyway, we have courage as the first card out. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And that's exactly what I'm feeling. Each and every wave that comes in your direction for you to experience and it brings up the element of fear, um, you're facing it head on. And that is a beautiful, with this perseverance, that is a beautiful energy here. We have blame. We're going to dive into this a little deeper. So there may be still some some people or some events outside of you that you are still placing the blame on as far as maybe how you're feeling or what is going on in the mind. I'm not really sure. And we have loneliness. I'm really curious as to why loneliness is out here for Taurus. I know that I'm never alone. You may have been put on a timeout, a little bit of a, a void or cocooning phase? If so, don't let it get to your head. This has been happening off and on for many of us on the journey, especially lately, where we'll be engaged with life and people and activities, and then all of a sudden everything shuts down and it's like time to go within. This is definitely the South Node, the Eclipse, Libra, all of it, all the energies like. We really want to do those deep dives as much as possible. Whatever's coming up to be released, to be let go, whatever's not in alignment with you, whatever's not in alignment with your soul, your soul's path is being shown. If it doesn't feel right, if it brings anxiety, if it brings stress, if it feels like you're being boxed in, that's what you want to release. You want to move in a new direction and I think you've got a big enough picture as to the direction the the new Taurus lifestyle is um, opening up for you so let's keep going okay tell me about courage for Taurus please 
Yeah, because you've also received gifts and probably a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities, and other ways of communicating from non-physical that really certainly help you trust the journey a lot more. Let go of the need to know. Let go of the need to control. You have this perseverance and it's beautiful. Yeah, let's check on courage. Nice courage out here for Taurus. Justice. Beautiful. Like peeling back the onion layer after layer. There's balance being made. You are finding balance, finding alignment within yourself. And this happens organically when we stop, you know, trying to control the flow of life. <laughs> Justice. Beautiful. Each and every time you face your fears, you face a challenging or difficult situation head on with inner strength, with confidence, you bring more balance and justice to your nervous system, to your energetic system, to your life path. It's, and it is definitely showing itself. Death. Oh, and it's so interesting because when this card came out, I had the vision of the snake, which is actually the death card. Not, this doesn't have a depiction of the snake, but the snake, the snake sheds its skin in order to grow. It also sheds its skin because in order to rid itself from parasites. And I feel like that's where you're at here, Taurus. You're shedding this old skin. And there's a rebirth that is happening. So let's see what blames here. Okay, we have the Eight of Materials, Page of Materials, Awakening. Okay. What you are awakening to is exactly what I already said. The, this message is really just repeating what I said here. You're having, you're going through another phase of awakening. It's it's teaching you how to trust it, the divine and to fall into flow with life. If it doesn't feel right, or if suddenly your energy is depleted, listen to that. Listen to your body, follow the signs, trust the synchronicities, because this is what you're ending Taurus see all these balls she's got up in the air she's juggling doing too much multitasking and even though it's a great trait to have so we think that's what we've been programmed and it, sometimes it does feel good to like be able to get a, a bunch of things done all in one fell swoop but that is not where you're being guided you're being guided to trust the flow of life and this is what you are awakening to. So don't blame yourself. It says, I accept responsibility for my well-being. And this is energetically, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Why is loneliness out here for Taurus, please? Right of voices. Okay. And here we have the three of inspiration with perseverance. All right. So overall, you are in this phase of, oh, here, look, we have the devil below that. That's bad habits. These are um, programs. These are parts within you that just operate robotically. You're breaking those. The star below that, the moon below that. Wow. Big energy here, Taurus. So here, allow things to fall into place as they are. Stop trying to control. You're really being taught how to be in a flow state right now and to trust how it feels, the energy feels in your body when you have the divine feminine energy activate and it's the intuitive, receptive ability to flow that then let that part of you lead 
then it informs the defined masculine aspect. So we're right and left hemispheres of the brain. Left hemisphere of the brain, masculine. Right hemisphere of the brain, feminine. They must work together. Allow the feminine energy to navigate and then inform the masculine energy within you of what to do or what not to do. Discernment, understanding, loneliness. So there's something here about your communication with somebody, self-expression. There's something you need to like say or do. Some of, some of this energy feels like a rescuer, like a, like a, this internal drive and urge to be that rescuer or savior for somebody or for humanity in general. It could be part of your life path, but um, you're being deeply uh, pulled back from that. You may actually have played this part in your lifetime with many different people. But as you're being called, you're being reeled back in, Taurus, to kind of go in a flow state. You are in a, a state of transformation and awakening. <coughs> Your spirit guides may have pulled away some people from you at this moment, just so that you can learn to trust, learn to flow. So that's why loneliness is out here. It's not really... Uh, a big deal actually but don't make it a bigger deal than it is because these things are out of your control as with most of us right now the energies that are working with us are completely out of our control <laughs> so surrender trust we're gonna get you one last message here from the shamanic healing oracle if you're liking this video please don't forget to click the like button lots of major arcana here i will say you're going through quite a journey at this time change it's beautiful it really is uh yeah don't forget to click the like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and feel free to comment i love to read all your comments all right back to you taurus what's the advice for taurus please advice for taurus please oh okay thank you mm-hmm we have stripping illusions. Well, that makes sense with death, awakening, justice. Stripping illusions. And that will happen <laughs> over and over and over again until we finally trust um, and know. And you can only know through experience, but no, like, I really don't have control over any of this. And when I start to get into the flow and I trust my own intuitive senses, I trust the messages I'm receiving. I trust when to go and I trust when to stay. Life gets much smoother. So we're still in these training grounds right now. It's a little, you know, it's a little rocky from time to time, but it's all good. Stripping illusions. The lotus flower is a funny plant. It flourishes in the muck and mud. Apparently, in spite of the muck of its birth, beautiful petal petals open up, layer after layer, revealing more and more of its inner beauty. You are being called to strip away illusion after illusion from your life. You are being asked to enable your true essence to shine through. Allow layer after layer of false beliefs, cluttered thinking, fulfilling, unfulfilling relationships, chaotic environments, to go by the wayside to reveal the perfect essence of your core self. This process is challenging at best. We tend to hold on to the illusion we have created thinking they keep us safe. All they really do is blind us to our true beauty and potential. This card is calling you to look your truth in the face and not let illusions cloud your view of the true beauty of yourself and of others. So lovely. Um, trust. Trust what is happening. Trust the flow. Allow all the illusions to be pulled away. And don't hold on. Because there's some beautiful energies to come. So And trust that as well. That is what I have for you this week, Taurus. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.